Hey guys, I have been looking at uh, Cyrax's setups and it seems like for whatever setup we have, and I'll give you an example here, if we try to counter tech roll, the opponent gets out for free with backdash as you can see here now. However, I did know that we can do a little variation on this setup. And we can launch them every time if they try and do a backdash. Now the forward two is supposed to be a mid as a meaty. So it's not the best. We can adapt this for a hard to blockable. Although the timing on it is a little bit iffy at the moment. I'm still working on that. I'll show you now. So here... Even if you do the full back 2-4 animation, if you get the timing right, they still get launched. And this is super important. Why this is important is because if they do delayed wake up, and they don't do the um, wake up slide, they still have a really challenging hard to blockable on their hands from the back 1, 2, plus 4. And that's super important. The one thing to note about this setup, there you can, can you see the overhead into low there? That's very tricky if the opponent's not going to be ready for it. So what does this what does this mean overall in the times of things? Well, you can change this setup. So it's effectively the setup counters wake up backdash, which is the arch nemesis of our anti tack roll setup. It's a little bit difficult to understand what we're doing and how we're doing it at this point. It's very difficult for the opponent to know what bombs we're going for. So it's important that we experiment with these different setups. If you think the opponent is going to wake up with just buttons, you can do the exact same thing which is mid bomb then far bomb. And instead of going for the hard to blockable, just go for forward three. You still get the same setup. Um, you still get a launch, should I say. It's not the best launch in the world, but it is a launch. And you can still get considerable damage off it with 2-1 into 4 with 4-3 four, air grab. So that's super important to know. The other thing I wanted to talk about was, let's say we have our opponent conditioned and they're going to either do a delayed wake up or just wake up normally from the tech roll setup, which is a hard to blockable. There is a way to not have to commit to back three down four. Now let's have a look at it. You do standing three into back one and you that gives you the timing and your character. If you have a look on the standing three, it moves you forward enough to make the overhead connect so let's have a look at this again standing three back one and it and it does loop it is a trick it is one of the harder timings on the setup but let's have a look at it one more time see if i can nail it oh i will nail it guys Ah, there we go. We got it. So this is just a way for you to be able to do a hard to blockable, which isn't back three down four, which is unsafe. Bear that in mind, guys. I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take you back to Matthew Bright's video uh, where I, I recently played him in a series. I do suggest you watch it. It's extremely high level Cyrex play, especially from his end. Not so much my end. Um, but I do block his overhead low setups, and as you can see, they are fully punishable. So do be aware that that is not possible. The other thing that I say that is a massive no-no, and I encourage newer Sykes players or veterans alike that do this, to stop. When you go for a hard to block a ball and you do dash forward, do not do back one into a bomb. Although this is like a super easy way of a setup, I really cannot not recommend it enough. Uh, if you're doing that sort of thing and the opponent just fuzzies overhead low, 
it is full combo punishable and if you're wondering what i mean go back and watch my matthew bright set i punish it quite a number of times it's because i'm i mean against inexperienced players it will work but as soon as you meet anyone with some matchup knowledge it's never gonna work it's a full combo punish the other thing i wanted to touch on because this is something that uh, people ask quite a lot is anti aaron with cyrax so i just wanted to show sort of and it, and it is it is a problem in the game you do you do need to be able to learn to be able to anti-air properly so let's have a, a quick look at a possible uh, anti-air scenario so he he's done the jumping on me there sub and as you can see his jumping is is, is crazy but this is the kind of anti-air that you want and the conversion that you want from it and then we've got the tech roll covered there can you see if your tech roll doesn't block that's fine so standing one is your best anti-air and it's gonna have to be your best friend and you're gonna have to practice the further away you are the better bear that in mind i can anti-air coltal from there and if you're not sure if you're gonna nail the run cancel after you can do something like that so just do standing one into the thing or you can even do the i'll show you that one actually quite important There you go. You can even do 114 if that's what you're familiar with. Uh, but if you're like me uh, and you nail that, I'll go for forward 131. There is something you can do if you're not sure about the sort of distancing on the opponent. Uh, and that's forward 1, forward 1, 3. But I'm not too used to the timing on that yet. There it is, as you can see. So you just want to do um, fire bomb, then forward one, forward one, three, close bomb as fast as you can. Uh, and that's if you're not too sure about the height of the opponent. You can also do standing one, and then forward one, forward one, three. And that'll get you a really nice height, and hopefully you won't have to... Uh, do that now standing four is still an extremely good anti air but it is slower than for uh, than standing one and standing one is just it's just better it's like mashing standing jab on street fighter so if you play that game it's just cheap it just covers so much i mean look at that it's moved back up oh, into a run cancel forward one three net And there would be like an anti backdash conversion. So there you go. So I think I've covered what I wanted to cover. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And uh, I'll try and keep bringing out the videos. Thanks for watching.